they started to open up. The game was very wide open uh, later in the game, obviously, when we were pushing for it. And, you know, we knew a goal was going to come, and we just had to wait for it and then hopefully find a second one. Unfortunately, we didn't. The go-ahead goal, what happened? Can you just kind of break down what happened on the back end? Um, you know, obviously, you know, Leo gets picked off in the middle of the field, and it's an easy counter for them, and they find uh, McGee wide open, and, you know, he finishes well. Do you think the wide open nature of the game helped contribute to that and then creating that chance because you guys had been putting the pressure on? Yeah, you know, that's the risk you take. You know, at home we don't want to give up points, so I think the team was obviously pushing for it, and uh, that makes the game really wide open. And, you know, they're a team that likes to counter as it is, so, you know, they were open for that. On my first goal, it just didn't seem like there was anything to do because of that strong side because of the weak side of it. What did you say? Yeah, um, you know, I think it was Joel putting in a really good ball, and, you know, I think, it, you know, there's, they had a bunch of players in the box, and, you know, Patrick found it, you know, wide, himself wide open, and, you know, kind of hit it awkwardly and kind of bounced it in and kind of came off the turf weird. Yeah, with the new people that they brought in, they're a different team. Um, they're, they're not the same team that we beat twice. Shannon. Sorry if you answered this already. With that first goal, uh, Nyarka kind of got in there unmarked. Uh, what happened on the defense? Um, pissed the ball away in a bad spot. Um, I had the whole defense shift and uh, didn't do it properly. And that goal, did that go off of your ankle? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the crazier goals you fast? Ah, uh, just, uh, you know, when you put yourself in, in good spots, good things happen. Did you kind of feel like the defense really need to help carry the load, like you and Amovi and Jeff Park were, like, all in there? And yeah, it seems like we uh, we pissed the ball away uh, way too much and uh, cost us two goals today, and uh, we got to do a better job of keeping it. On offense, though, you guys were all, like, right in the mix. Was that it? Yeah, um, you know, just... Just trying to do what we can to uh, to help the team win. Um, you know, we obviously wanted uh, three points and uh, we're settled for one after going down two one. Uh, weren't able to get the goal and got to settle for zero. Penny of corner kicks. I think they're four in a row during that one stretch. PPL Park was was this really loud? Like at that point, did you think you had any chance of losing that game? I mean, uh, I mean that's not the way I was really thinking about it. The way I was thinking about it was. One of these has to go in. Uh, one got cleared off the line. One got saved, uh, put over the crossbar. Then we had another, you know, header. I thought, you know, at least, you know, maybe we sneak one in. Is that pretty hard to deal with? Frustrating when you're so close. And... Yeah, it's frustrating. Uh, we're at home. Had a chance to to kind of put them out of the picture and uh, get them off our back, and uh, did the opposite of that. come back next weekend against DC. Uh, I know they've got some momentum after being in Montreal. And uh, hopefully we can get that win. This is a case of just bad habits that were in their head on defense. It seems to be just guys just getting wide open. No, I mean, defensively, um, we've, we've, been, we've been doing pretty well as of late. I don't, I don't know what happened today. Um, we were just giving them the ball in bad spots. And then when you give up the ball in bad spots, you know, you don't go in as hard as you can in tackles. And, you know, they wanted it more, and then it's just back against the walls when you're losing the balls in bad spots. And um, we need to get back to how we've been, um, where we were giving them limiting chances with the two shutouts, and uh, hopefully we can come back against D.C. Can you talk about Sean Johnson? Yeah, he's a, that's why he's with the national team. He did a great job um, commanding his box and um, making the saves necessary to keep his team in the league. You had that one on you. Yeah, you know, we was talking before. I was joking with him. I was going to celebrate hard if I scored on him, and he didn't let that happen. So... Credit to him, he's a great player and uh, he has a good future. Talk about playing in KC in the All-Star game, that's what that meant for you? Yeah, it meant a lot. You know, I grew up watching some of those players play, so to play alongside of them and, you know, kind of spend a couple of days with them, it, uh, you know, kind of just opened my eyes to see what, you know, it, it was like to, you know, be, to be there. Jack, you look at how jumbled things are in the East right now. A lot of teams are sort of clumped up right there. Do you feel like you guys missed an opportunity maybe to create some separation a little bit? Yeah, we were hoping to kind of go on a little three-game win streak. It was a good opportunity, but, um, you know, I think we, we just got to put this game behind us. You know, we've been pretty inconsistent this year winning, you know, like no one expected us to win in Vancouver, and then we would have expected the win today. So I think we just got to put it behind us and uh, come out again hard against D.C.
Can you just talk about watching the Tag Cold Cup final and then going to the All Star game? Was a pretty crazy, fun few days for you? Yeah, uh, I mean, I went for a two day trip and it ended up being uh, seven days long. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting and, uh, you know, there's a lot of traveling, but, uh, you know, it's a good experience both in, in both cities, so. Was it a pretty good rap? Did you work on it for a while? <laughs> I just walked in and they asked me to do it and they had it written down, so I just gave it a go, so. From Atlanta, so I got a little bit of me. Better than one, though. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Thanks. Jack, you probably answered this really sorry, but is there any frustration on your part um, going on that such a drought now without a goal? Yeah, it's frustrating. I was saying that, uh, you know, I just need one of those, you know, easy tap-ins to kind of, you know, get my confidence up and get back in the streak that I was going. It's, uh, you know, one of those things I got to fight through and the team's got to help me get there. It, it seemed like you almost had it tonight, too. It was kind of getting wide there. Do, do you find yourself pressing at all or, or trying to force anything or...? Are you just trying to take it as it comes? No, I think I'm, you know, pushing a little too much just because I know I'm on a streak. Maybe I, I wouldn't do what, uh, you know, I would, I would have done at the beginning of the season. You know, I kind of just need to relax in front of goal and uh, find that rhythm again.